It was Nate's story with Bright Agro Tech, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about our drainage system. We've been getting some questions from folks asking us exactly how our drainage system works and how we've got it plumbed into our sump tank. So um, today I'm going to talk just a little bit about that. So our drainage system from our plants consists primarily of two really long lengths of 4 inch PVC pipe. The trays that the towers drain into, of course, drain into these tubes, and then the water flows down from the far end of the greenhouse down to this end where our sump tank is. The, uh, these tubes are buried at an angle, so there's some incline to them from that side to this side. So all the water that goes in flows in this direction, and that's really important to think about, thing to remember when you're installing uh, this type of tubing. If you don't have enough incline, your water doesn't flow uh, fast enough. If you have too much incline, it really turns into a bear of a project to get these pipes buried and plumbed to a sump tank that's at the appropriate uh, depth, really. So um, here we have uh, the four inch line coming in. This is where the north side of the greenhouse connects with the south side of the greenhouse. All this water flows down through here. We've got kind of a little jerry-rigged uh, connector here to kind of give us a little flexibility, but also uh, it allowed us to, to plumb into our sump tank, which, uh, you know, the sump tank ended up being a little closer to the wall of the sump well than we thought, than we hoped. So uh, we had to install some stuff to let us kind of wiggle things around. Um, it runs down here and uh, we've got two inch pipe here. And this two inch pipe goes through a valve. So this allows us to actually close off the flow from our plants to our sump tank. And by opening this valve, it allows us to basically um, suck water out of our drainage system and send it somewhere else. So this basically, if, if we have to ever spray something super nasty that we don't want the fish to get any of, uh, we can hook up a hose here, turn this on, put a little inline pump in, and shut this valve and basically suck all of the irrigation uh, water, all of the return water, out of our system. And that's kind of just, kind of just a nice little feature uh, to this system that gives us a little more flexibility with what we spray and what we use in our greenhouse. Now. Um, this is just kind of your standard gate valve, and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can get them at the hardware store. And um, if I lift kind of the sump well here, uh, you can see that we end up with uh, the two inch going into a two inch uh, bulkhead fitting. And that bulkhead fitting is just connected through the side of our IBC sump tank, and the water just drains right into the IBC. So uh, it's a good system overall. We do have limitations on how far we can fill our sump tank because it is, um, you know, right about near the water level will actually start coming out of the first row of holes uh, that our trays drain into. So we need to make sure we don't overfill our sump tank. So it's important for us to have basically a homemade float valve here that tells us uh, when our tank is filled to the uh, correct volume. So basically, you know, once it drops below the 70 gallon mark here, we fill it up to the 185 mark. And that 185 gallon mark is full for us on this sump tank. Above 185 and we start to have some leaks further up the line. All right, this is Nate's story with Bright Agritech. If you found this information useful, please subscribe. Uh, check out the Vertical Food Blog too. We'd like to talk about a lot of our video subjects over there as well.